This video is brought to you by Ultium 365. So first let's go ahead and start with the 433 MHz LoRa flexible PCB antennas. During this first test, the receiver side is going to be inside this room and I'm going to ask my brother to take the transmitter outside. I just want to check if the signals are powerful enough to penetrate through walls and different obstacles. Next, I told my brother to connect the 433 MHz LoRa web antenna. Next, I connected this 433 MHz suction cup LoRa antenna. This is the maximum distance I can check over here. So I'm going back to home and let's see if I can receive the temperature and humidity values over there. So I came back to my home and right now I am on the roof and from here I can see the mountain and I can also see my brother. He is right on the top. In my previous video, I made this Arduino development board for the prototyping and testing my Arduino based projects. I have already tested the relays SSD1306 or LED display module and the 5 volt buzzer. But I didn't check the AI Thinker 433 MHz RA-02 LoRa transceiver module. So for this test, I made one more development board and now I can easily perform my tests because now I can use one of these development boards as the transmitter and the other one as the receiver. It's not only about the checking if these LoRa modules are working or not, but it's specifically about testing the communication range using these different types of antennas. And we will see which LoRa antennas are going to give us maximum communication range. So without any further delay, let's get started. For the demonstration purposes, I'm using this board as the transmitter and this board as the receiver. On the transmitter side, I have connected the DHT21 temperature and humidity sensor. So I'll be sending its values wirelessly to the receiver side where the temperature and humidity values will be printed on the OLED display module. You can download the circuit diagrams and programs from the article available on electronicclinic.com. I have added a link in the description. Now let's go ahead and take a look at different types of LoRa antennas. Along with the 433 MHz RA-02 LoRa antennas, I also got these three different types of 433 MHz antennas from the AI Thinker. First, let's start with the 433 MHz flexible PCB antenna. These are the 433 MHz FPC 27 by 17 mm omnidirectional flexible PCB antennas. Its gain is 2 dBi. The antenna efficiency is between 35 to 80%. Voltage standing wave ratio or VSWR is less than 1.8. Antenna interface is IPX1. Operating temperature is around 70 degrees Celsius. These are the 433 MHz LoRa web antennas. Its gain is 5 dBi. Voltage standing wave ratio or VSWR is less than 1.5. Input impedance is 50 ohms. Polarization is vertical. Weight is 20 grams. Connector type is SMA-JW. This is the 433 MHz suction cup LoRa antenna and it's a high gain sucker antenna. Its gain is 5 dBi. Voltage standing wave ratio or VSWR is less than 1.5. Resistance is 50 ohms. Interface is SMA-JW. You can read more about these antennas in the article. Anyway, let's go ahead and check these antennas one by one. So first, let's go ahead and start with the 433 MHz LoRa flexible PCB antennas. I have powered up the receiver side using a 12 volt adapter and the transmitter side using my created 4 is lithium ion battery. I can use different voltage sources because the onboard 5 volt and 3 amps power supply can accept wide range of input voltages between 7 and 28 volts. The reason I'm using a battery pack on the transmitter side is because I want to make it portable so that my brother can freely move around while testing the communication range. Anyway, you can already see the temperature and humidity values on the receiver side. You can see as I apply heat to the sensor, the temperature values on the OLED display module changes. So it's working. During this first test, the receiver side is going to be inside this room and I'm going to ask my brother to take the transmitter outside. 
I just want to check if the signals are powerful enough to penetrate through walls and different obstacles. Ultium 365 lets you invite users to your workspace so everyone can collaborate on projects and access the latest design revisions. To invite a user to the workspace, click the name of the workspace and select my Ultium 365 to open the workspace configuration in your browser. On the left side, select workspace members. Click the invite workspace members button to start the invitation process. To invite a user, enter their email address in the aid members field. You can invite multiple users at the same time. Finally, you can add a note that users will see in the invitation. After entering all the necessary data, click the invite button to complete the process. Specify the administrator role for the invited user. Once a new team member accepts the invitation, they will have defined access to the workspace and can collaborate with other members. I have added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart, the world's fastest component search engine. Now let's get back to our project. During this test, I was asking my brother about his location to find out from how far these modules could communicate. You can see the LEDs are blinking which means I am receiving the data and you can see I am receiving the temperature and humidity values. Then at one point the communication stopped. When I checked it on Google Maps the distance was 243 meters. This is the distance when both LoRa modules are out of sight and there are walls and obstacles in between as you can see in the image. Next I told my brother to connect the 433 MHz LoRa web antenna and I also connected the same LoRa web antenna on the receiver side and as you can see I am not able to receive the data so I told my brother to come back. And then at one point I started receiving the data. I checked the distance on Google map and it was 91 meters. Seriously, I was thinking the web antennas would perform well than the small flexible PCB antennas. Next I connected this 433 MHz suction cup LoRa antenna. As I have got only one antenna so I connected it on the receiver side. While on the transmitter side the web antenna is connected. You can see I can receive the temperature and humidity values. So I told my brother to go in the opposite direction. And then at one point the LEDs stopped blinking and there was no communication. I checked the distance on Google map and it was 118 meters. Because of the suction cup antenna on the receiver side the communication distance improved a little. Anyway, I told my brother to connect the flexible PCB antenna while on the receiver side I'm using the suction cup antenna. Again I started receiving the data and you can see the LEDs are blinking. Anyway I told my brother to start walking in the opposite direction. Then at one point LEDs stopped blinking and there was no communication. So I checked the distance on Google map and it was 300 and 5 meters. This is so far the maximum out of sight range. Flexible PCB antennas are great and when used with suction cup antenna the communication range can be further increased. So the flexible PCB antenna and the suction cup antenna gave me the maximum out of sight communication distance. Next we are going to perform line of sight test on these different types of LoRa antennas. I came to this open location to perform the line of sight test. I started with these web antennas and let's see from how far these modules can communicate when in line of sight. My brother is right there with the transmitter and as you can see I can receive the temperature and humidity values. So I told my brother to keep moving. Keep moving. Now he is on top of the mountain and I'm still receiving the data. I checked the distance on Google map and the distance was 432 meters. Next we connected the LoRa flexible PCB antennas on the transmitter and receiver side. 
and you can see it's working. I performed the same test for the 433 MHz suction cup LoRa antenna and it was working. This is the maximum distance I can check over here so I'm going back to home and let's see if I can receive the temperature and humidity values over there. So I came back to my home and right now I am on the roof and from here I can see the mountain and I can also see my brother, he is right on the top. The mountain is 955 meters away from my house. I confirm this distance on the Google map. Anyway, first we started with the LoRa web antennas and as you can see, I'm able to receive the temperature and humidity values. It's working great and I'm sure it will cover around 1.5 kilometers. Next, we connected the flexible PCB antennas on the transmitter and receiver side and as you can see, it's working. During the out of sight range test, it almost covered twice the distance of the LoRaWeb antennas and I think these flexible PCB antennas may cover around 2.5 to 3 kilometers or maybe even more. Next, on the receiver side, I connected the suction cup antenna while on the receiver side, the flexible PCB antenna is still connected. And as you can see, I can receive the values. If you remember, during the out of sight range test, the suction cup antenna improved the communication range. So I think it may cover more than 4 kilometers if it's used with the flexible PCB antenna. The AI Thinker 433 MHz LoRa RA-02 transceiver modules when used with these different types of 433 MHz LoRa antennas, you can send and receive the data over such a long distance around 1.5 to 5 kilometers. Even if it's 2 kilometers still it covers such a long area not only my village but also the neighboring villages. Now within this area I can send off-grid wireless text messages. I can monitor different types of sensors, I can control different types of loads, I can track different things, I can use it for the security purposes and so on. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.